there, Tano. I'm Shadow Scythe, and with DevStream 91 out of, out of the way, it's finally time for the next installment of In the Know. Now, what they did on this dev stream is there was a lot of talk about TanoCon this time around. Because, as you all know, TanoCon is 70 days away. The sound and art panels that they did last year will be returning. However, this year they are also doing a, uh, kind of like a super YouTuber panel, so to speak, where basically a, a large chunk of the partnered YouTubers that are YouTubers and or Twitch streamers that are going to be there, they're going to have them all on a panel together. Um, the voice actor for Till Rigor is going to be there. There's obviously going to be the, con the cosplay contest, like what they did last year. Registration for that is either on the form when you buy your ticket, or... If we can avoid alerting them, this may be easier. Okay, my bad. I'm a little distracted there because this is a Corpus Tile set and there's Grenier here for this orb. But, uh... Cosp the registration for the cosplay contest is either digitally whenever you buy your ticket or at the event itself. The voice actor for Ortis is also going to be there to teach us the Oricon language. Which I'm really looking forward to that. Um, they're going to be doing a live script read of the script for some of the order quests. So if you're going to be interested in that, then you got the chance for it. There's also this escape room thing that they're doing, which is a collab with Trapdoor, where they're recreating something from the game for players to try to puzzle their way out of. So that's going to be a little interesting to see how that works. You've been seen. That was a close um, now, the bird asset that they had originally shown roughly three years ago on DevStream 20, they're right up around now, I'll put the asset that I have up, but they have finally made progress with it. And they are going to be incorporating that into the Earth Master. Uh, they also put up some screenshot based assets for how the Earth Remaster is going to look like at night because the past couple of times that they showed it on DevStream, unfortunately the uh, time change, the commands or whatever that they were using to change the time of day were not working. There you are. Um, the next, they're talking about working in an event to kind of make Earth viable again for players above that have access to, like, everywhere else. Because for the most part, unless they're, unless it's for a sortie or, oh, or like a catalyst or a reactor alert, or even the, uh, even for Kuva Siphon, or Kuva Farming, we don't really have much need to go back to Earth. And I missed somebody back here. Um, the Ambulus, the Ambulus event and rework should be, they're hoping to have live next week. It's possible that that may not come to fruition, so just be patient a little bit longer. It wouldn't be the first time that they've had a uh, bug delay them. So I'm pretty sure we can all sit there and bear with it just a little bit longer for them to make sure that it's all perfect. Why do I keep missing fucking targets? Holy hell. 
Jeez. Although, gotta, I do gotta say, this little thing right here is still one bug that just they need to fix. Like, big time. There's going to be a webcomic coming out for the uh, new priest frame, which I will go, which right around now, the asset should be up. So yes, this guy, we finally have a name for him. His name is Harrow. H-A-R-R-O-W. I'm not entirely sure where the inspiration for that came from. But I'm sure we'll find out. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of his quest. I've got another asset that should be coming up for uh, the operator suit and before the operators which that's one of the massive war bombs that they were talking about for this quest itself so I'm looking forward to it uh, one of the streamers who's very very into the lore behind Warframe DK Diamantes is probably looking forward to it. So, it's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. Now, uh, they are adding chat filters to trade chat as well. So, that basically you can hide all the talk about the shit that you aren't interested in buying and you can look for deals specifically for what you're wanting to buy or set it up so that if you're trying to sell something you know if people are currently looking for it or not so yeah there's that coming up um, they are currently working on stances for that new ninja fan weapon that they showed at PAX. Which, I've got the, uh, new render for that that they showed on the dev stream, and as well as I did kind of screen cap part of it. So unfortunately it is a still image, but... At least you guys can see some of the motion involved in one of the combos. They are talking about uh, like a small update to melee weapons to kind of revisit the underused systems like melee channeling and the charge attack combo breaker since that's kind of, well, as I just implied, broken. And then the whole uh, dual wielding melee and secondary that they had t showed on the last dev, str dev stream. Uh, there is a massive list of secondary weapons and melee weapons that are going to get a uh, a stat revision to make this. Uh, make them usable if you want to hear like a lot all the names that were rambled off you guys can check out the dev stream itself there are just too many for me to actually list or incorporate assets into this video the new machete stance that they have talked about is almost finished they're hoping to have it done in time to roll out with the ambulus update which if they do that Fair warning, because Rebecca mentioned, possibly as a joke, making it drop off of the new Ambulus. However, Sheldon might actually be dead serious on making it a drop. So, we will find out when the event comes around. Um, 
the focus there were questions about the focus system and the operators to make them more viable and not just a wet paper bag uh, I get there's a lot in the development process for that that I guess they're planning on unveiling at Tenocon itself so the and for the most part a lot of it hasn't even come up in the actual development stages yet they do have stuff that they have planned it's just not ready so the only response that they could actively give is that it's being looked at which I mean that's fair if it's not ready to show then I don't expect them to show an unfinished asset the sheer fact that it's at least being looked at is enough um, the relay for the digital ticket holders for Tenocon was brought up because of the fact that Barrow is going to be there people were kind of hoping to get an idea as to what he may be bringing and it, although I think it's a massive joke as to what they were talking about, they were saying how Barrow is going to have everything he ever brought. Which, don't get me wrong, if he does, that's going to be really cool, but it also just seems very unrealistic. So I don't expect that to actually stay as true. I expect that to be more speculation than anything. But we will find out when that time comes. Uh -huh. The new event for Ambulus when his rework goes live. They're doing something different with the reward system. Whereas rather than you have to do uh, X amount of crap like what you did with um, the pacifism defect where you had to basically get an accumulative score to get these rewards what's going to happen is for each ambulance you killed they're going to drop you're going to get tokens based on the difficulty that ambulance was and then what you can do with those tokens is you can go visit ergo glassed in any of the relays that you have access to obviously and then you can talk to him and redeem these tokens for the rewards themselves. Oh, I had a form of building. But, uh... I do have an asset for that as well. Now keep in mind, a lot of the stuff shown in the asset that I have for you is just placeholder. Because a lot of it looks like they were new augment mods for weapons that just were never released because they still haven't had the chance to actively test them um, I guess I'm going to give this fun little thing a try um, and then as far as the, all the event rewards and everything the one thing that will not be within the regular uh, reward table that Ergo has that you will get at the end of the event Our is the new Vandal weapon. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. We need to purge this place as we did in the old days. Which, uh, that new Vandal weapon, I've got high speculation that it is going to be the Supra Vandal that you all decided to data mine rather than just let them show it off. They do have progress on the Kingpin system and I have a couple of assets to show you guys for that. As well as the gear, the gear that the Kingpins have, there is a very high probability that uh, the gear that the kingpins have equipped is going to be uh, is going to practically determine the weapons that their underlings all carry. So fair warning of that, especially since one of the Grenier ones has a Czar. That's about the only one so far that I'm scared of because the rest of them all have manageable weapons 
including the one that has an ogress, just because yes, bombards are annoying, but they ogress is slow. Um, they are actively looking at potential changes to Arkling to make it more viable since the past couple of times they've tried looking at it. They buffed experience, they kind of broke the flight system and then reverted it back, but you could keep the broken one as optional since it was experimental to begin with. So no real word on the changes to that other than they are looking at it to make uh, the rewards a little more viable. The new Equinox helmet showed a few dev streams ago is currently still in progress, but it should be here soon. And then, of course, there is one final asset that I have to show you guys, which, uh, as you know, the 10-0 pump action shotgun is still a work in progress, but is still not finished. However, we have another pump action shotgun that they're working on that they are further ahead on with the development than the 10 one. That is the Corpus pump action shotgun, which I gotta say, I don't... There's no telling what this thing's gonna fire. They're, they were joking around about how it's gonna fire credits and be directly linked to your overall credit stash. But you could go around and pick them back up. I seriously don't see them actually doing that. Of course, I could be wrong on that. Then, uh... It looks like it's also going to be a very heavy hitter, like the, uh, like the, um, Tigris, the Sankey Tigris, and the Tigris Prime all are. I don't know if it's going to be a, uh, two-shot, three-shot, or what. We'll ha just have to wait and see until it comes out. And then when that goes live, there's also the possibility that... Uh, they're going to adjust a particular enemy or whatnot to use it. But we will find out when all that happens. Currently, the Gift of the Lotus alerts are live. The first one that you saw me do for the reactor on Mars... Or, was it Venus? I think it was Venus. Because I think it said Mars, but it put me on Venus for some reason. That is, uh... That should be live as we speak. The first one obviously being Exterminate. Then the one I am currently doing is the Design Council one for level 100 freaking, uh... Infested. And it is a melee-only challenge for 10 waves of defense, so have fun with that. I mean, the advantage is that it's infested. If it was uh, Grenier or Corpus, I wouldn't even bother because that is just asking for a riot. Apparently these guys don't know why the enemies are doing so much damage. Uh, that would be due to their levels in their sunshine. <laughs> okay, they just realized it. So needless to say, definitely bring... You can kind of dick around on the first one all you want, but bring someone kind of strong to this one. And this is kind of the whole reason as to why I'm running Ash. Ow. Oop. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. That should do that. But, thank you guys for tuning in to In The Know. If you like this video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to follow me to stay up to date, uh, other than my videos, you can check out my Twitter and player.me links 
in the description box below, as well as my Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel and its endeavors. It's not needed, but it is greatly appreciated if you decide to support the channel. And until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.